Mm-hmm. We're here in Monterey, California, on the shores of the Pacific, and you've flown in the air. We are going to fly underwater in something called the Super Falcon, which is part plane, part submarine, and everything about it is cool. If you've got an extra $1.5 million burning a hole in your pocket, you can get one too. If this was a normal submarine or submersible, it would have ballast and it would um, would sit on the surface, open a valve, and would sink down. Um, this one sits on the surface, positively buoyant. You have to add thrust. I mean, we did this: lift the nose up, get a take off, take off run, and then push down. And it just literally is an aeroplane on a runway. And instead of flying up, it just flies down. And you need power, power down. Cut the power, lift the nose, and it'll glide beautifully back up. Stoked, ready to get underwater. We're gonna do some dives here in the uh, Monterey Bay National Sanctuary, Marine Sanctuary. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Michael Copel, I'm somewhere underneath the Monterey Bay right now in a two-person sub, the Super Falcon. We're flying underwater with Graham Hawks, who's built this and is thankfully piloting it up front. Um, This, I should say, in one word, is amazing. I'm just off the Super Falcon, and I have to say it was incredibly cool. We dove down into Monterey Bay, um, passed some kelp, some jellyfish, and then came popping up out of the water. It was an amazing experience. This is not, you're not going to see submarines everywhere you go anytime soon. This is more like what Graham Hawks is doing. It's more like the beginning of the aviation industry. You're going to see more of these kinds of vessels out there, but it's going to take some time. Eventually, you're going to get your own opportunity to fly underwater. And if you do get that opportunity, I would say take it.